Back with Bobby and JT Radio, we have Uche and Christian Oba, and we're talking everything marketing, PR, and how they came here, and how they created a an awesome business from the ground up, um, and we love all small and micro businesses here in San Antonio, so we're very happy to have them. Um, some great, great endorsements and, and stories. If you missed any of it, you go to bobbyandjtradio.com, be a fan of the show, and you can also check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So I want. I think a lot of people have... A misconception of PR. I think people think PR is just basic marketing, but it's it's a lot different. Yes. yes. Explain that to us. Well, um, from a, I can talk about marketing. You can talk about PR. All right. All right. Marketing is just the pre- process of creating a flyer, creating the collateral around it, and pretty much taking it out to different people so that consumers can see your content or your brand as a viable um, entity. Right. Well, from a PR standpoint... PR is what people think about what they feel when they see your marketing, when they see your brand. This can be everything from what people are saying about you to how you react to different um, issues or opportunities or uh, partnerships. PR is more so the message of your brand, and it it can be a full personification Mm -hmm. or it can be a theme. Like creating hype. Yes. So, so talk about the difference between like a person, personification of a business or a theme. Like, give us some examples. Take for instance, right now we're doing international investor relations. It sounds so official, um, when all it is is we're we're managing marketing plans and educational plans in different countries for Brook City Base. So we're throwing out information. We have to create an educated consumer. So we are creating different um, conversations in these countries that are circling investors, investitures, uh, investment products, and things like that. So we have to create various content and make them have an idea, make them have a viewpoint that they probably wouldn't already have. Sure. Um, the marketing of that is, of course, the content. Yeah. But the PR is where we're going to place it, who's mm-hmm. going to talk about it, who's going to manage that seminar, are we going to have uh, backing from government uh, government entities or from bank entities and things like that? I got you. So I want to really dive into what I think a lot of businesses are weak on, which is social media. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So even us, that's why we got this awesome kid, Alan, just out of UIW. He's over there yes. uh, learning and teaching <laughs> at the same time, teaching Chantel back there. So um, let's talk about social media in business. How... What's the impact or how crucial is it, especially to a business like, let's say, like real estate agents like ourselves? Very crucial. Yeah. Extremely. Um, social media isn't about tagging all your friends in a post. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm done then. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just had to clear that up because okay. I saw your page earlier. Uh-oh. Social media <laughs> is about creating interactive sure. uh, content that can engage your audience, that can entertain and infotain your audience. So you definitely want to do dynamic content, videos, walkthroughs. But again, social media is about how you socialize. Right. So everything doesn't have to be extremely corporate or extremely corporate driven it can be selfies at your new home it can be video walkthroughs where you're narrating where you're going and and different things uh, that include a more dynamic forefront than just a regular flat post right um and we think that as social media managers Mm -hmm. we like to have conversations with our likes with our followers yeah right we go back and forth all the time yeah because if you if not you they just they took the time out to to say something yeah and then you just left them hanging and you left them hanging yeah. Nobody likes to get left I went, I went to this, you know, because I was trying to get better. I went to the seminar and they said, well, first of all, they said, talk about having a digital twin, right? So who you really are shouldn't be the same person you are in social media sometimes, depending on what your character is. Mm-hmm. Uh, because if you, I mean, just like politically, the political climate right now, you can't say whom you're for because you've literally not disregarded 50% or more, mm-hmm. depending on where you live, of mm-hmm. the population. Mm-hmm. Same thing, you know can't be too religious you can't no. be too anything yeah. right. you have like a digital twin someone that looks like you uh they know what you do but but acts very professional e- even keel yes yeah. and they also i think the best um thing that i got out of that he said well how many how many you know friends do you have on facebook and i said like i don't know four thousand he goes well if you were in the tobin center with four thousand people in front of you right how would you act what would you True. say True. what would True. you say right 
He goes, and that's how you always have to be. He's like, because he looked at mine. He said, you're pretty even killed. I don't see anything too crazy. I mean, I'm a little crazy when it comes to the Spurs, and I don't care who doesn't like them. <laughs> but besides that, I'm pretty even killed. But, yeah, I, I thought that was the best thing I got out of that for sure. But, you know, one of the important things about social media is that I always say people need to show their personality in, uh, on social media because your personality is what really will drive people to be att- yeah, attracted to what your right. content is. So if you're just a lame duck that's just putting stuff out there. That's me. That's, <laughs> that is yeah, boring. Bob, Bob, <laughs> Bobby could be a fake profile for that. Yeah. <laughs> People may just say it as, "Oh, you know what? Eh, yeah, it doesn't cool. have anything to do with it with, with my everyday." Mm-hmm. I know my followers love to laugh. They sure. love when I get a little petty. They like <laughs> when I, <laughs> I can, I can do things on my social media because I know what my followers like. I know what they interact with, mm-hmm. and that's something that a lot of social media people do not watch. They don't watch what people really interact with. Watch those likes, see what they right. like more, see when they're they're tuned into you and how they react. I do. I, I I check out to see what has the most likes and the most views as far as videos, or I try to and do it over. And now it's Alan's job. All right, cool. <laughs> so real quick takeaway before we take a break, what what, how do you see the East Side developing right now? Amazingly. Amazingly. The East Side has so many opportunities. Whether you're buying lots, whether you're buying homes and redoing them, there's a tiny house initiative movement going on over there. Um, the East Side has Sage, San Antonio Growth for the East Side, that's doing the absolute most way introducing developers and real estate owners to the to projects. Um, the city is behind the projects. It's it's a boom. Are we it, talking just east of downtown? Yeah. Like east of downtown. Dig now and all the way down to Denver yes. Heights. Like yeah. near the Alamo Dome. Yeah. Yes. Okay. South of that, yeah. And, yeah. Plus, plus commercial proper, commercial um, banks are also taking notes. Like you have a Frost that just opened up. Right. And, and New Tony G's restaurant. Tony if you G's haven't been to Tony G's, uh-huh. you, you do. Yeah. That's good. Everybody likes chicken. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Man. You got to get to Tony G's. You got to get to smoke. There's a, there's a lot of things going on over there. For more information on this awesome PR company, you go to bethanyeastpr.com. Again, that's bethanyeastpr.com. We'll take a quick break. Be right back. <laughs> 